Hello. I'm trying to do my video in somewhere other than the hotel room today. So Christina and I were just about to head back to the hotel, decided we wanted to have a final beverage before she runs in to pack and get ready. We went and identified where we where she has to go in the morning to take the boat to the airport. So today was an interesting day. We saw multiple islands. We rode a horribly hot boat with no windows or any ventilation for gosh it was like three half an hour to 45 minute portions so we left Venice to go to Murano about 35 minutes 40 minutes for that first trip and then we get to Murano and that's where they did the glass blowing it was beautiful we loved it went into the shop afterwards to look and see if we could find anything we wanted and um, Christina and I ran into a lovely English woman and ended up getting her a birthday present and me something sparkly. Yay, I like sparkles. I wanted something, I wanted a butterfly. We did not find a butterfly in the actual glass blowing place that we went for the tour, but we went wandering about town afterwards and we did find a butterfly. So I was able to get a glass butterfly to add to my necklace. So I have my Daniel necklace and now I have my butterfly added onto it which God, Daniel, the universe, whatever sends me butterflies when I need them so it's a big sign for me so I love it. Then we got up back on the boat and went for another half hour 40 minutes and went to Burano. Burano we think is a little bit bigger of an island and it has all the different houses of different colors. Super pretty, lots of bridges. It looks a lot like Venice, but it's smaller, um, but really pretty. Had lunch there, met an Aussie girl on our tour, ended up having lunch with her and wandering about. And then we uh, had the 45 minute ride back from Verano back to Venice, and the boat was just unbearably hot. The only out of the, out of the, uh, like cabin part of the boat was the captain so the guy driving the boat is up in the air and all the rest of us are essentially underground or not underground but inside the boat with no ventilation whatsoever it was absolutely miserable everyone was just dripping sweat super hot no good so if i was going to give the tour a review i would say the stops were wonderful but they need to figure out a different transport they need to find a different boat different captain something because it was absolutely just unbearable that's my only critique of the uh, tour itself came back to the hotel kind of veg for a couple hours and got cleaned up because we were so sweaty and uh then we headed out to try to find dinner we walked all the way back to the area closer to the in the general direction of the train station where we stopped the first day to get a drink because we had luggage and we were tired so it was like the halfway point between the train station and the hotel and right by the Rialto bridge and had a lovely dinner and dessert coffee bolinis yeah my dessert took a really long time to arrive we probably should have left but we waited and it was yummy then we just wandered about found a couple of squares and other things that we hadn't even seen in all of our wanderings for the last three days so it was nice and I think that's it now. Like I said, we're just stopping and having a final drink. Here's me and Christina having our having crisps and Aperol spritzes. And there's Christina's sandwich. Hooray. And then we'll head back upstairs and she can get packed. And ah, she's taking some things with her so that I don't have to haul them all around Europe. And I'll just get them in London when I see her in August before I head home. So make my bag a little less crowded. Happy, happy day. And we've had a lovely visit together. I'm so grateful that she came and joined me during this trip and she may join me again. I'm gonna just throw that out into the universe and say she might join me in Amsterdam or wherever else it happens to work out. So hopefully that happens. So. The moment she realizes she has to wear glasses again. Good morning from Venice. Window's a little dingy, but a pretty view. Good morning. We made it to our meeting point and we've checked in. Just waiting for the departure time to get on probably one of these ferry type boats to take us to Murano and Burano for a glass 
blowing gla other Technique. things, techniques for making beautiful glass and lace. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so far it's only uh, 10, not even 10, and it is really hot and really humid. Uh, the forecast says there's a 70% chance of rain, so I'm hoping that my lucky travel weather karma kicks in and we have no rain. So far I've been very lucky in that regard, so we will continue to hope that continues. So. Michael. Oh my god, it's then, so hot. Uh, I will say San Marcos is not only the piazza. San Marcos is one of the six residential areas in Venice so that are called the Sistieri. No windows. Then I moved to Canada. All right, took a visit to the Murano glass factory and happy birthday, Christina and Annika love sparkles. And her birthday soon too. And well, my birthday soon too. We celebrate me later. Yeah, um, yeah just uh, enjoyed our trip. Christina met a fellow uh, lovely English lady who Gordon, has lived in Gordon Venice. Lady. Yeah, who has yeah. lived in Venice for 35 years, fell in love with the city. And now Christina says she's gonna start a massage business in Venice. Yeah. Munchkin, apparently. Midget. <laughs> it's like a mini Venice, except with a lot less people. Okay, we found a cute little place right next to the Rialto Bridge to have dinner for Christina's final night in Venice with me. Uh, 
lovely meal so far. I might have dessert. We have partaken of a couple more bellinis and uh, then we're gonna just wander back for a while. Coppa gelato amaretti. All right, so we're walking back from dinner in the general vicinity of our hotel. We're gonna try to find place to get boat tickets. Christina needs a ticket to get to the airport tomorrow. I'm going to go with her and then I'm going to take a boat to Lido where the beach is and spend some time over at the beach tomorrow uh, my, for my last day in Venice. And look at this lovely alley that we have discovered with no people in it. Very exciting. I just got dripped on the head by some sort of faucet. Hopefully, hopefully it was a faucet. <laughs> we are discovering many a place. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. That's right. We don't, we don't want to be the good. The the there doing. is, there is. <laughs> All right, we got Dior, we got Jimmy Choo, we got Ferragamo, we got Chanel, we got Balenciaga, Saint Laurent, Hermes. Uh, what is this one? That's Hermes. Lord yeah. Anyways, we found the designer district on accident. Tiger. Fendi. Tiger. Tag Howard or something. Fendi. So Venice is amazing. You can't get lost. You can get from one end of it to the other in any direction in about 25 minutes. Every street is beautiful. I've only seen one ugly building and it's only because it was too modern and it didn't fit in with the aesthetic of the rest of the town. Hooray!